This is question number 3 from the AS A level physics of Cambridge International. This question have two parts. The part first is determine the best units of work done and the moment of force. And the part B of the question is explain your answer to A means that caution is required when the homogeneity of any equation is being tested. Okay, the part first is uh, determine the best units of work done and the moment of force. Uh, we know that the work done is uh, is equal to F dot D or the dot product between the force F and the displacement D. Uh, we know that the unit of work done is joules but we will express that unit in term of base units. Uh, so the work done is equal to F dot D and we know that force F is equal to MA. Substituting the value for force F and then substituting the value for this acceleration A we will have MV divided by T into D. Then we know that the velocity is equal to displacement divided by time substituting the value for this velocity we will express this whole term f dot d in the base quantities form then we will substitute the unit for each quantity so the work done is equal to m d by t divided by t and multiplying this term with this d we will have m d square and this t with this t we will have m d square divided by t square now this work done is expressed in the base quantities form. We know that the mass is kilogram. The unit of D which is meter displacement which is expressed in meter in SI unit we will have kilogram meter square and time is expressed in seconds. So we have kilogram meter square per second square. And this is the base unit of work done which is equal to joules. Now let's determine the moment of a force which is uh, the moment of force is actually torque and we know the torque is the cross product or the vector product between the moment of arm and force. Now the moment of arm this R can be expressed in term of meters which is actually displacement. So this R is uh, displacement on length. We know that force again here is equal to ma and acceleration we know is equal to v divided by t or velocity or divided by time. So we have dmv divided by t in here we know is equal to a displacement divided by time. So the equation becomes dmd by t divided by t and is equal to md square divided by t square. Now substituting the base units for mass displacement and time we will have kilogram meter square per second square and this unit is exactly the same like uh, this first one which is also kilogram meter square per second square and similarly the base unit of torque is equal to kilogram meter square per second square so torque and work done both quantities have the same base units now the part B of the numerical was explain your answer to A means that caution is required when the homogeneity of an equation is being tested. And the homogeneity of equation means that the, on both the sides of the equation will have the same base units uh, which means that the, an equation is homogeneous when that equation is balanced. Now we have used two different quantities and both of these quantities have the same base units work done and torque. These two are completely different physical quantities. The work done can be expressed in joules while this the moment of force is torque and both of these quantity one is a scalar quantity work done which is energy is a scalar quantity but the torque is a vector quantity. Uh, so you must be cautioned when you are checking uh, at the homogeneity of an equation. They might have the same base units but they are completely different quantities. One is a scalar quantity and the other one is uh, a vector quantity. So for checking the homogeneity of an equation uh, you must be cautioned.
that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos thank you